everybody, Brian here for Onyx. Today, we are gonna take a look at how to plan a backcountry ski tour using the Onyx backcountry app. In our last videos, we covered the basics of snow mode, and then we also covered how to plan a tour based on the day's current conditions. So make sure you check those out if you haven't already. So today, I'm hanging out with Chris Davenport. Chris is one of the world's most accomplished big mountain skiers and a pioneer in ski mountaineering. And today, we're gonna to talk about how to use the app to plan a tour based on a long-term objective, which is what Chris does all the time. We talked about planning a tour based on the day's current conditions. Now it's all about that long-term objective. So Chris, what's the difference there? Well, the difference is in decision-making, really. Are we planning for a particular line that we want to ski, or are we just going out to try to go skiing and find good, safe snow? And in this case, it is the, the former. We're going to try to ski an uh, exact line. Okay, so Chris, tell me about this tour that you're gonna take me on. I, I'm assuming we're not gonna do a first descent of a 14er here. No, we're not gonna go that big tomorrow. We are just gonna go on a nice tour in the backyard. I wanna show you guys the beauty of, of where I get to ski, where I get to live, and uh, plan using the app for a safe day out in the mountains. All right, so what's the first thing we're gonna look at here? Well, weather's obviously a big one, so we wanna check the weather on the app and see, you know, tomorrow's looking really good. It's clear, high of 40, uh, low wind. Um, should be a perfect day to be out in the backcountry. So as we pan around here, we can see detailed weather forecasts based on where the crosshairs are, and that information all comes from Weather Underground, which is super helpful when you are planning a tour uh, and you're out in the mountains. So obviously when you're looking you know, at an objective like this, something you wanna go do, you wanna wait for a weather window, you wanna make sure snow conditions are right. It hasn't snowed here in a while, so yep. that's part of the reason that we're heading back to where we're going, right? Yeah, the weather plays a really important role, and the main thing I'm looking for is that the weather is not gonna change while I'm out in the backcountry and because a concern, so uh, that's just an integral part of the planning process. Well, we can also check the snow tell data, and snow tells are a network of uh, measurement devices across the mountains that tell us how much snow is out there and how much water is in the snowpack, which is really important from a um, recreation and uh, just water management standpoint. So I click on the snow tell site, and I can see right now we currently have 72 inches of snow on the ground. At the, this is the Schofield snow tell site, and a snow water equivalent of about 25 inches. Uh, so that's actually really great. That means there's a lot of water out there in the mountains and a lot of snow for us to go skiing on. Fantastic. And what's great is you can monitor this sort of throughout the season and that's going to give you a pretty accurate picture of what that snowpack's doing over the course of several months, right? Yes, yes. Tracking the changes are really important to see, you know, how the snow is changing, the depth is changing. And this is one of the first things I look at when I wake up in the morning to see how much new snow is out there in the zone. Okay, so we've looked at the weather. Now we're gonna look at the avalanche forecast for tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, integral part of planning a day in the backcountry is understanding what the avalanche conditions are gonna be. And uh, we've got great avalanche forecasting around the country from our forecast centers. And so I can click on the avalanche forecast on the app and I can see here in the Aspen snow mass zone, uh, the current danger rating is moderate, level two. So we're gonna be paying attention to specific terrain features, anything really steep, mm -hmm. um, trying to avoid those zones. But in general, the last couple weeks, we've had good stability here. And so I feel confident uh, that we're gonna find good skiing. Awesome. All right, so now that we've looked at the weather and the avalanche forecast, the next thing we're gonna do is actually plan this route. Yeah, so I've got a great place to go skiing tomorrow, but we're gonna use the draw route tool to figure out our actual distance and our vertical up and down. So I'm gonna draw the route here and it'll give me the exact data I need to kind of understand how much time it's gonna take for us to ski out here. Great. All right, so if we're planning our route, I'm using the draw route tool. I'm gonna to drop a waypoint at our start and then I'm basically gonna drop another point along the ridge all the way over to the top of the mountain and where we're gonna hopefully drop in and ski. And it's gonna tell me basically I'm climbing only about a thousand feet up and it's only about three quarters of a mile across the ridge to the point that I'd like to drop in and ski. Okay. So it's really effective. It's also helping me uh, understand if there's some hazards there, some cliffs, sure. some trees, some places I don't wanna go. So I get a really great look at where I'm gonna ski. Awesome. So whether you're on your computer or an iPad, all that work that you do in the app or the web map is gonna automatically sync to your phone, but you need to make sure that you have the app open in your in-cell service or on Wi-Fi uh, before you head out into the field. Good thing to remember too is I always try to sync my maps uh, and my route in the morning before I leave the house. So it's just on my phone and I'm not gonna run the risk of being out in the field not knowing where I'm going. It's a great point, yeah. Okay, now that we've made a plan, we can go ahead and share that amongst everyone in the group to make sure we're all on the same page. Well, now that we've created our plan, we've got our route, we just have to wait for conditions to be favorable. And that means checking the avalanche forecast daily, monitoring the weather, understanding what's happening out there in the snowpack. So when you go out to ski or snowboard, you have the best chances of success. 
All right, so there's a look at how to use the Onyx Backcountry app to plan a tour based on a long-term objective. Exactly, and this route planning tool is just gonna become one more important tool, indispensable in fact, in your arsenal, staying safe in the backcountry. All right, you're good, have fun.